Okay, so I'm done curling all that, and I actually ended up using um, the smaller one because the bigger one wasn't working out because, like I said, I straightened my hair first because I wanted to test out the straightener, and um, it really just messed me up. It's, it's an extremely good straightener. Look at that. I just curled it. And I set this a little bit higher to see if that would affect it. And no, that, that straightener is phenomenal. Alright, I left that on just in case I need to fix anything. But, um, okay. So these are pretty tight. So what I'm going to do is, um, from the inside, shake it up a little bit. Inside, shake it up a little bit. And then flip it. Shake it up a little bit. Okay. And now it's just playfully curly. And I love it. Alright, so. If you do want to test out the straightener, um, don't plan on using the curling roll on the same day. Um, I would use them separate days, or else you're just going to wash your hair just to get that straightness out. I didn't make this very tight at the top, so I'm just adding a little bit to make it bounce. It's better. This is beautiful though. It is not like terribly greasy and stiff like my old curling iron would do. Um, turn that off. But all together, beautiful, wonderful. My hair feels so much lighter and it feels, um, doesn't feel shitty afterwards like normally. Now, afterwards, I would say, see, I'm wondering, I'm not going to spray it because that straightener did wander staying in, but see, I have very processed hair, so we'll see if the curls actually stay in and how well they stay in until tomorrow. Or maybe I'll make a video later if they start falling out already. But I doubt they're going to fall out because look at this. This is... This is very, very beautiful. Alright. Well, thank you for watching Candy's Tips and Tricks of Hairstyle today. And I'll be making a video later on the tips and tricks of the trade of socializing which for people who are on YouTube watching me right now probably need <laughs> alright bye bye